Hello guys, welcome to a deck profile of mine. Well, um, first of all, I actually did build a Twitter account, so if you want to kind of pretty much follow me over there, I can give the link to the description. Um, if you guys want want me to do some deck profiles of mine, please. Well, if you guys want me to kind of do any card fight areas or anything, otherwise, I will do that. And also, I'm thinking about this, I'm going to put that as my... <clears throat> as my notifications towards um whenever I do my car fry area streaming. So yeah. Um anyway, let's go on with the deck profile. Um for this one is actually pretty interesting. It's probably one of the most underrated decks and underrated decks of basically well it's just like under the mill mill deck that probably some people don't use, but they'll use it just for fun. It's called um, Aurora Star Coral. Or, I like to call this thing the, um, the Rainbow Album Deck. You'll find out why I call it that. I'll explain why when I do, do my tech profile. Alright, so usually I'd start with the starter and such, but I think I'm going to go go for the threes, uh, grade threes, and move down from there. So, for the grade three lineups, I run three or star coral. Uh, what her, what she does is, um, when I, when I have limit break, um, I can counter blast two, so charge one, choose a Bermuda triangle to bounce back, and, and she gains 5,000. At some people's uh, critics, it's actually pretty costly. But, at my point of view, you got so many effects that's going off. I think it's really good. But, but yeah, I do have to agree it's kind of costly for two counter blasts. But at least you get the power to make it up for it. So, how come I'm not running four? Well, the reason why is because I had to make room for this. Three Prism Image Birds. There are the Bermuda Triangles Break Ride. What she does is give ten, generic 10,000. Draw one, bounce back two, and bounce back two, I think. Yep. Um, I think the maximum potential of this deck could be that one will work one turn thing. Like, uh, you can have Vert right there, then break right onto her, then you can bounce back the targets to your hand, get a lot of power for that one giant turn, and then you can keep going with that power from there. Uh, let me just, uh, realign those for you. Alright. And, what about the other two? Her. Shiny, Sti Shiny Singer Ionia. I don't care what anybody says. This is actually a pretty good card to have. It's a really good beater for the rear guards. It is not too bad at the vanguard circle. I mean, it's a well-rounded, um... Vanilla-ish card. So yeah, that's the uh, great three lineups uh, for the great twos. It most of it is self-explanatory, but yeah, great two coral. Oh, four great two corals. You want to keep the ride chain up. Three 10k body, uh, th 10k vanillas. Now, me, people may be wondering why I'm not running Celtics. It's because this thing lacks the defense it needs, so I put in 10k vanillas just to be safe. And this is probably the meat and potatoes of this deck. The Pearl Sisters. Yep. Now, people may... Yep. So, this is what keeps, um, keeps up with, uh, what the Bermuda Triangles are meant to do. Which is pretty much out bouncing each other back up to the hand. I thought, hmm, might as well do it pressurely. So I put in the Pearl Sisters in there just to have have adjust that. So it's actually working pretty good so far because um, with Coral Soul Charging, it actually does provide a little bit more ammo for Pearl to use. And yeah, just want to point that out. 
four to grade one lineups, self-explanatory two, four, four of the grade one corals, four AK vanillas, four sentinels. I think that's pretty much self-explanatory right there, except I might be changing up the, the vanilla a little bit, and I will show you why. I run two Perlas with her, because why not, because it gives a lot more of the soul charging shenanigans and such. And this is one of the targets that uh, either Perla or Coral can, well, the, these ones are also the target, but also this one could be a very definite target for him. And the reason why I want to replace place one of them with, it's Prison Image Clear. Pretty much, um... What clear, Celtic, and one stand trigger I'm going to show you guys later on. What they do is, so when they get bounced back, so blast one, get 4k to somebody. That's where the surprising factor comes in. The numbers it can pull is just from a, from a, from a, I can't say it, phenomenal. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> anyway, it's just amazing. So, I did some playtesting, I like her so much, I want to get another one, so I decided to replace one of my, one of my vanillas with it. So, there. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a mouthful. I'm sorry about that, guys. And, pretty much, and this is where the weirdness comes in, and where I say it's called the Rainbow Album for a reason. It's for heals, for draws with Fundi. Four stands with Irish, pretty much the same thing for clear, same clone for clear, and four crits. Rainbow Trigger lineup. At my point of view, it works the best for, for this deck. I had no problems with it. I I think I gained more than than I should. So it provides most both offensive and defensive. So that's really good. So yeah, um, and also, it gives Coral much more targets to bounce back. Now, you may be wondering, why am I not uh, doing the Drive Quartets? Here's my reason. I like them... I like it that they can't get their sudden K shenanigans and such, but if I don't, don't get them, then there's going to be a problem with hitting good comps. So that's why I have um, the Prism heals and the prison crits because of that. Irish has an exception because she can give uh, her own 4k to somebody else. <laughs> so I can just put her right behind Coral um, just in case they get to 5 damage and they don't really want to hit get hit with a crit so I put that in. So yeah, um, why do I like to, oh and also the starter, since we're going to be for a right chain, go for Go for it, uh, Fresh Star, uh, or is it sh Angelic? Okay. Alright, um, what do I like about this deck? One, it is one of the, let me see here, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. I think it's a Gen 4 ride chain. Pretty much what it is, is you can ride a grade, it's pretty much ride grade 1, get a search for top 7, but... But another thing that is really unique about it is, you can ride up to grade 2. Oh, I missed it. I can do that little top 7 thing that the grade 1 do once again. Boop. Nope. Cleared. And the best part is, it actually gives um, the Bermudas a little bit more ammo. And also, um, riding the ride chain, if you miss it, it's not the end of the world. Actually, it's a little bit more beneficial... Because, let's say you've missed a grade 1, you can put her back. If you have the grade 2 version, put her right there. Put her on the front row. Attack. And go for attacks. And you can also also bounce her back due to Coral's ability. Which is, um, if he she hits the Vanguard, you can bounce somebody back in the front row. And if you have a grade 1 Coral in the soul, you can bounce the back row as well. So yeah, that's the uh, grade 2. Grade 1 has nothing because of searching ability and such. But yeah, um, she's a good pressure because of that. 
and you don't need um don't actually need grade one coro in the soul in order to do it. Although it is pretty beneficial, but still, you don't really need her. Oh, um, and here is one bad thing I have to say my one and only gripe about this deck is when she hits, you have to do it. So yeah, let's just say okay, um I need to I need to pull up some I need to pull some combos. Let's just say I have these let's just say I had this this kind of lineup. I attack um no. Let's be more let's be more sensible about it. Um this deck loves to rush. I will tell you that. This deck loves to rush. Attack for eleven and then hit for and then hit for sixteen and he's he no guards it because he doesn't want to get get hit with anything. Um, you pull up a... Uh, God damn it. I'm just searching through the deck. Okay. Stand her. You can give the power to her, but but once you stand her up, you have to bounce her back. Although, otherwise, if you bounce uh, the other one back, it's kind of a dull waste, if you ask me. So, yeah. That's the only one gripe about it. But other than that, this deck loves to rush... So, if you like rushing decks that have little repercussions towards them, do it. <laughs> well, actually, it does have repercussions, but it's it doesn't really show up that dead well unless your opponent rushes back at you. Um, so, yeah, um, that will be the end of my deck profile. Um, yeah, see you guys later.